Mr. Provost and Deputy Vice-Chancellor, may I present Sebsebe Demeseu as a candidate for the honorary, honorary degree of Doctor of Science. The town of Butajira in the province of Shewa in central Ethiopia lies at the base of the Zebida Massif and has an elevation of over 2,000 meters above sea level and has a present day population of 65,000. It is here that Sebi Sebi Demeseu was born. His early uh, schooling took place in the town. Eventually, Seb Sebi moved to the neighboring town of Bishoftu and attended high school there, and later moved to the Prince Deibe Mariam Special School in Addis Ababa for his 12th grade studies. Seb Sebi went to the University of Addis Ababa and obtained a BSc de degree in biology education, which he passed with distinction. The degree included two years student service in Gambela, Western Ethiopia, bordering Sudan, a lowland area 500 meters above sea level and very different from the highlands where Sebi Sebi grew up. This experience inspired him to study botany, to understand the habitat and environmental differences between the two regions. Seb Sebi stayed in the biology department of Addis Ababa University for an MSc in plant ecology and taxonomy. Then he moved to Uppsala University in Sweden for a PhD in systematic botany. Seb Sebi became an assistant lecturer and rose through the ranks of lecturer, associate professor, full professor. His whole career has been at the University of Addis Ababa. Seb Sebi spent periods as Dean of the Faculty of Science, Keeper of the National Herbarium, and Executive Director of the Gulele Botanic Gardens. The Ethiopia Flora Project started in 1980 and was a collaboration between Addis Ababa, Addis Ababa and Uppsala Universities. The aim of this venture was to document the flora of Ethiopia and Eritrea. Seb Sebi's PhD was part of this work, and he later led the project for 15 years from 1996 to its successful completion in 2009. The results are reported in eight volumes, which describe over 6,000 plant species, 600 of which are unique to Ethiopia. Seb Sebi had the task of coordinating 92 scientists from 17 countries, and himself described over 50 plant species new to science, many of which are endemic to Ethiopia. Between 2000 and 2003, Seb Sebi was General Secretary of the Association for the Taxonomic Study of Flora in Tropical Africa. During his tenure, an important international conference was held in Addis Ababa, which resulted in major collaboration and funding from the Mellon Foundation to many institutions in both developed and developing countries. The major objective was to digitize type specimens of African plants held in collections at Kew, Paris, Berlin, Brussels, Florence, Missouri, along with other major herbaria around the world, and to avail these results online to students and researchers worldwide. In addition to these international projects, Seb Sebi worked tirelessly to sustain the Gulele Botanic Garden in Addis Ababa. As, as director, he was successful in aligning the garden with internationally agreed global sustainability development goals with 600 gardens around the world under the Botanic Gardens Conservation International Network. Seb Sebi believes in international collaboration and engagement with many institutions to train young scientists both from north and south to study and work together, forming better partnerships for the future. Seb Seb has published over 200 papers in peer-reviewed journals and has authored or co-authored nine books. Seb Seb has received many pre prestigious awards, including the 2022 Linnaean Society Medal for Botany, the Q International Medal, and an honorary degree of science from the University of Nottingham, where he is visiting professor. In 2008, he was elected as a foreign member of the Royal Society, thereby becoming the first sub-Saharan African scientist to be elected 
to the in the, in the society's 357 year history. Might one, might, one might well say uh, about time. Uh, these awards clearly show that Seb Sebi Demasevo is a major international figure in the field of botany. He is a, an inspiration to all African scientists who follow in his footsteps to the highest achievement in science. Clearly, it is time for scientific colonialism to end and for Af African scientists to take Seb Sebi uh, Demasevo as an example and discover the boundless riches of their own African environment. Mr. Provis and Deputy Vice-Chancellor, on the recommendation of the Senate and Council, I present Seb Sebi Demasevu, so that you may confer upon him the honorary degree of Doctor of Science. Heard. Okay. Thank you, Chancellor. Thank you, distinguished guests and graduates and families. I think Paul has said all what I want to say about myself, so I wouldn't really repeat that, but I would have certain messages that I would like to share with the graduates. Uh, first, Really, this is a remarkable day for all graduates, but what I have also witnessed is I've worked in botany, botanical diversity, and I have never seen such diverse graduates in one occasion. So I really like to congratulate Lester for being so international with graduates from all over the world. I would like to congratulate you. Yeah. As Paul indicated, I have worked over 40 years or whatever of my life in studying biodiversity, not only in Ethiopia, but in most parts of Africa. And biodiversity actually underpins what we are, who we are, what we eat, what we do globally. And I also not only look at study only biodiversity of plants, but I also voluntarily work for an intergovernmental platform for biodiversity and ecosystem services. The main uh, goal of this platform is to make sure that we human beings are part of nature. We're not above nature. We are part of nature, and we should do everything to really keep nature safe, intact, and for the benefit of all human beings. In the last two days, I mean, I came from Ethiopia. We have really lowlands. You know, I, I uh, stayed over two years in an area which is about 500 meters above sea level, which is about 1,500 feet, and the temperature there could reach. I think 40, 43, 44, 45, and with humidity. And when I came over to UK, and everybody was talking about this weather and temperature, I said, what? And I was, well, slightly frightened. I said, what's going to really happen with 41? But here we are. I think we live with global climate change. Now, my message is, why does this happen? Why do we talk about temperature rise? The reason being, we human beings are not living as we are required by nature. The carbon footprint is increasing. We have organochemicals in the air, pollution, unless and also we're actually losing biodiversity globally. So I know 
the United Kingdom is doing its best to keep its biodiversity intact, but still it's not enough. We should do more at a global scale. Unless we keep, unless we, we work in collaboration at, uh, on a global scale, whatever we do locally is not enough. So when we talk about that biodiversity, it's not only what happens in the UK that's going to affect us, but what we do in Africa, what we do in Asia, what we do in Latin America, impacts the global biodiversity and the climate change. So if we want to address, if we don't want to have the temperature that we have yesterday and today, we have to take care of the biodiversity, your forest, your nature. Then that, that was what I really had seen and I think we should really work hard. All of the graduates, be it in geography, humanities, and every field, I'm sure you have a major role to contribute. But the, the notion is that if we only excel in what we do in our fields, that's not enough. We have to work together collectively to improve what we do for nature and the environment. So I hope this will, this will be the, the direction that we would really like to do in the future. And finally, what I would like to, to really sh uh, share with you is, I think in Ethiopia and myself, we really have been collaborating with many institutions like Leicester. I work not only on biodiversity of wild plants, but I also work on indigenous, indigenous and unutilized crops. And that's what really brought me to Leicester in collaboration with uh, Professor Pat Heslop Harrison. We're really working to improve the quality and diversity of an indigenous crop related to uh, banana called insate. And in so doing, we really did a marvelous work to collaborate. But this time, we want to improve the collaboration. We take the collaboration higher. And I think I will probably have an in, a discussion with the vice chancellor how we could really collaborate on, on this effort to improve the lives of indigenous people using indigenous crops. But all of you, I think, don't, don't really look only at a national level. I have heard that some of the graduates had spent a year outside this institution. I think that you should really welcome that. And if you happen to work in Ethiopia, we would really like to collaborate and facilitate your visits. If you come to Ethiopia, I would take this opportunity to invite all of you. And it's not only Ethiopia, many African institutions would really like to attract youngsters to collaborate in many fields. So I will be glad to really facilitate, but I would like to take this opportunity to thank the University of Leicester, to confer the honorary degree of science for me, and it is 100th birthday, I was told, and thank you very much. Thank you.